Hey, Sam. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through how to do the HTML um, walkthrough that we did last time. I should have just recorded my class period, but I didn't do that. So um, we're just going to have to do it by video, which works fine. So um, just look up atom.io in your browser window and then go ahead and download that. Um, it'll ask you if you want to download Git. GIT, I believe, and just go ahead and download Git as well. It may take like a few minutes for it to down finish downloading, but once you get that installed on your computer, we can begin this lesson. So once you have that downloaded, you can go into your applications folder and then just look for Atom. Uh, it has a green icon. You can also just search for it if it doesn't show up. Um, for some reason, I don't know if mine was actually showing up or not. So if you double click that, um, you can open a project. I'm going to, you can X out of some of these. Um, so let's go ahead. Yours won't have this over here. This is actually from a different project, but open a project, open a project, um, and then go to your documents folder, go to your graphic design 340 folder for electronic design two, um, and create your folder here, new folder called root folder. Um, I already have several named this, but none of them are all lowercase, so um, maybe I'll make it like 3 or 2021 or something, because I do this every year. So, But you can just name yours root folder, and then make sure you're inside of it, and then push open. And that will be our new folder that you see over here under the project window. Um, there's a lot of welcome areas that we don't need to be on. So go to File, New File. So the reason I had you name this root folder, this project folder, root folder, this is where all of our documents, our HTML, CSS, um, images, everything that goes for this website will go. Um, but the reason I had you name it root folder is that's what it's referred to as the in the design industry. It's called the root folder of, the, of your project. Obviously, if I was designing a website for like North 40, I would name it North 40 website. Um, but I just had you name it root folder just so that you know that um, the root folder of your project is your project folder, basically. So it's just referred to that in the web design industry. So, um, so we did our file, new file. Close out all of the other windows except for your untitled window. And then let's save this now. So file, save as. And we'll name this um, inside of our root folder, index.html. And this is going to be the home page. And we need to name it this naming convention. It needs to be an HTML document because that's what, what it is. And we need, to, we need to name it index because this that's the, the num, that's the name that you need to give to a home page in order for the browser to recognize that as the home page. So um, that saved itself. If you open up your root folder, you can see that this file right here is inside of that folder. So we're going to start typing in our HTML information. So um, doc type HTML. So just start typing in doc, D-O-C, and then you'll see it pop up down here. And just click on that, and that'll bring it in. Okay, so every document we need to put that in there because it helps the browser realize, oh yeah, this is a doc type. The doc type is HTML, okay? And it helps the browser recognize this as an HTML document. And then we need to start typing in HTML and then you can click on that. And it'll actually bring in all this extra information, which is great. And actually typing doc type isn't even necessary when you go straight to the HTML. So we can delete one of those doc types. Um, And then let's add, um, let's start with the head tag. Um, so we got the head in there. Oh yeah, so it put in the head for us and it did put in a body for us. And this is all nested within the HTML. Um, so your, think of your website as kind of like a person. It has a head and a body and um, those are really the two main elements are the head and the body of the website um, nested within the HTML. And this basically just tells the browser which language it's in. We're in English, I-E-N. So 
the head of your web page kind of includes elements that are invisible and then the body will hold all of the visible things of your website so we're going to put everything that we can see in here and everything that you can't see will go in the head um, so we'll fill in the head tag a bit now the title is kind of important so let's go ahead and put in hello world and save that by command s and then let's go to chrome if you don't have chrome you're going to have to download chrome because you don't want to use um you don't want to use safari for web development and then do file open file within chrome and then go to your um root folder in your documents that's not the right root folder but for me because i have so many of them but um I'll need to go to root folder. There we go. And then go to index.html. And then we can check out this page. And obviously there's nothing on it because we don't have it filled out, but it does say hello world up here. So you can see within Adam, that title, the hello world actually titles within the title, it'll title your tab. So that's what the title within the head does. Okay. So now let's go to the body tag let's add in some html or some head tags or heading tags sorry so we'll just type in more hello world um, we're going to do h1 through h3 so we can just kind of go through here start typing in h3 click on the thing that comes up type in h and then we can go to four and we're just going to go through one through four and we're just going to copy these in here and then do a command s and then let's take a look at that in our browser window by pushing refresh and you can see h1 two three and four here and just the differences of the headings they're typically just the same font and everything unless you style them differently later with css we'll get into that but they are pretty much the same except for they just change size so that's the headings that's kind of how they work and then let's go add a few more elements in so let's add in a header and it's found at the top of the web page and it usually holds a navigation and maybe a logo or login buttons are common too in the header but it's usually the first thing right as you get into the body um, so the header is different than the head um, it's a little bit confusing, but the header is always in the body typically, and it holds a navigation typically. So just start type, typing in head and then click down and it'll add in, add this in, the opening and the closing tag of header. And then let's add in um, a nav tag. So start typing in NAV and then navigation will happen. And then that navigations are usually unordered lists. Actually, they're always unordered lists. So we're going to start typing in unordered list UL. Click on that. And then um, we need to put list items inside of our unordered list. So we need to start putting in list item LI. And then um, we're going to put two of these in. So you can command C this and then return command V. And then we'll put in um, let's see home and contact so these will be the two pages that our navigation will link to so they're not links yet but we can look and in chrome and refresh and we can see that there's our unordered list um, inside of the you can't see the header obviously but it is in the header separate from the other stuff here so let's go back to adam and then we'll make these links now the list items within the UL, within the nav, within the header, we'll make these list items. So um, let's start putting in an A tag right here, which is for anchor, which is a, a link. So let's click on that. We need to move this closing A, command X, and we need to put that on the inside of the LI. So um, right here is where we need that. And we'll do that again. So type in A, click on anchor, and then just move that closing A tag. Oops. Command X to cut that, and then command V to paste. So um, if we do command S and then go back into, you can see it's now links. They don't go anywhere because we haven't hooked up the URL or the path to the link, but we can do that right now. 
So um, we want to do a dot slash index dot html. So this is going to link to this particular page that we're on because we're on index dot html. It's going to link to this page um, from any page. The nav will be on every single page eventually. Um, and then the contact page, it needs to link to the contact page. So we'll do the same thing there. We haven't made the, doc the contact page yet, but we can do that later. Don't capitalize anything either when you do this stuff. Just keep everything lowercase. Obviously, no spaces. Um, so index.html and then contact.html. And the reason that we did it a dot um, slash, this means that it's a localized folder. It's not a URL. And it, it, it'll make the browser realize that it's, in, it's within this folder and that it's the index file. And it'll know to navigate to that. Same with contact. Once we add contact in here, we haven't done that yet, but we will. OK, so that's our navigation. And that should work decently. I mean, we don't have the contact page, so, um, but that's not bad for now. And then we'll do that next. We'll make a contact page. So let's do that. So go ahead and save this if you haven't, Command S. And then let's go to File, New File. Same process as we did before. Um, so let's just start typing in HTML. Actually, let's save it first. Let's do a File, Save As and put it in that root folder along with the index, but we'll name it contact, all lowercase, dot HTML. Save that, and then start typing in HTML. Click on that, and then it'll put in the doc type for us. It'll put in the language, the head tag with the meta. I'm not quite sure what that line is. Title with, um, let's go ahead and put contact. Usually it's the title is the name of the, um, this is the name of the page, basically. And then in the body tag, you know, we can put in a, an H1. Actually, let's just go ahead and go into index and then just copy at least the, the header section and bring that in underneath body and paste it. So if we do a command S on that, that should create both of these are saved but because there's no blue dot. Let's go in here into Chrome, refresh, and if we go to contact, it'll take us to the contact page. And the navigation is on the contact page. We don't have anything else on it, but at least... And then we went back to the home page, so we're able to navigate our website with our navigation. Um, okay, let's go back to the HTML document for now. And let's add in... Um, Let's add in some more things here. So let's add in a footer just above the closing body tag. So push tab, make sure, start typing in footer. Here we go. And then in there, we can just say, you know, call me. At. Typically, um, there would be another navigation in the footer, but we're not going to do that. I'm just going to do this for, oh, and actually make this a paragraph tag. So start typing in P. Um, and then command X that, move that over. So the P tag, call me at XXX, you know, fake phone number, command S that. And every website has a footer, a header um, in it. Typically the header usually has a nav, like I said. The footer usually has another navigation in it, plus maybe logos, those kinds of things. I mean, um, but every single web page typically has a header and a footer and then the main area of content in the middle. So um, we'll add in that main section, which is typically in between, oops, in between the header and the footer. So we'll just start typing in main. And it put in the closing tag here, but let's command X that and tighten up this space. Go after the H4 because I want that included in the main. And then let's highlight that and push tab so it's nested within the main because we want to keep our code nice and neat so that it's really legible and the h1s are nested within the main so that's one of the main um this is the main area where you put the content for your site besides you know the the header which includes the nav so it's usually nested in between the header and the footer the main is and we can actually open this up and kind of put these so that they look better um, and then I will continue forward in the next video on this.